What is up guys, Cruise Designs here, and I've got a Photoshop tutorial for you today, but before we start, I just want to say at 1.5k subs, 1,500, I'm going to have another speed art competition, and at 2k, there's going to be, uh, probably at 2k, there's going to be a really cool graphics pack with loads of unique stuff in it that you won't see in any other graphics pack, uh, stuff made by me, so it's definitely unique, just wanted to throw that out there, uh, just a quick update. But uh, today we're going to be making this. It's been requested quite a bit and it's simple but there's quite a few steps to it. So I'm going to move really quickly. Hopefully you can follow. So file new 1280720 and make a new layer. Then ellipse tool, color on black or dark gray. I'm going to go dark gray. Then holding shift, drag it out to the size you want make it about that big and then holding control uh, click on this uh, little thumbnail here click on the little square with the circle in it come to select modify contract and I'm going to contract it by 30 pixels and then I'm going to contract it again another 10 okay that's good hit uh, before you delete it you need to right click on the layer and go rasterize layer then click delete, that will delete the middle then you want to double click on your layer, come to bevel and emboss put the technique chisel hard, size all the way up and depth to about 250 and then you can play around with the angle and I'm going to put my angle like that okay that's pretty much it for the bevel so we're going to go ok and now you want to make it look more metal like so we're going to come to the burn tool over here and the range is on midtones, exposure 100%, size 66 is what I've got. And before you uh, apply it, you want to duplicate the um, this layer with the ring, control J to duplicate, and then select both of them and do control E to group them. And now we can start applying the burn. And the more you uh, the more times you click, the darker it will be. So as you can see, if I click quite a few times in one place, it goes quite dark. But if I just go over it, it doesn't make it too dark. So this is how you make it look more realistic and more metal-like. And if you want to make it lighter in places, come to the Dodge tool, which is exactly the same, except it makes it lighter. So we can make bits of this lighter again. And that's pretty much it. You can play around with the with the settings but with the burn tool but I'm going to move on so we've got this and now we want to put these glowing edges in so we're going to come to the pen tool make a new layer zoom in and click there and click there drag that out and then holding alt click on this point uh, I have got a tutorial on my channel on how to use the pen tool, um, but you can go watch that or just listen to me. Uh, hold Alt, click on that point, then click maybe there, and then I'm going to come up to there. Okay, there we go, that's just a basic one, and then come to the colour that you want, I'm going to go for a blue, OK, and right click, fill path, OK, double click on it, we want to come to inner shadow, and put the choke up a bit, size down a little bit, then outer glow, going to put that on the same colour, blue, and blend mode normal, play around with the size, and I'm going to put the drop shadow down a bit more and put it like that okay and then control J to duplicate it and then control T right click flip horizontal and drag that to the other side enter okay we've got the glowing bits and now we're going to do these grooves, they look like kind of grooves, like scratched in, kind of etched in. So we're going to apply them, make a new layer, zoom in, 
and just make this kind of cross shape. Uh, holding shift does help as well. That will make sure that it's a straight line. So you could go up to there and then across to there. Then come to your brush tool, put the size on, we'll put the size really small, make sure it's on the hard brush, hardness 100%, size 2 pixels is what I'm using. Make sure it's on black. Okay. Pen tool, right click, stroke path, stimulate pressure off, and tool on brush. Click OK. Right click, delete path. And then we have this groove. Now I need to make it look more realistic. So we're going to add a drop shadow, make the blend mode normal, color white, spread all the way up, size really uh, size one really far down and the distance on about two and then we can lower the opacity of this in fact distance I'm going to put on one there we go and opacity up a bit and now we can control J to duplicate it and move this down a bit okay and then select both of these control E to group them Control J to duplicate them, right click, uh, Control T, then right click, flip horizontal, move these across, and then select both of these, right click, duplicate layers, OK, Control T, flip vertical, and move these down. OK, so we've got a pretty cool looking circle thing here and I'm actually going to change the drop shadow of this a bit don't really like it how it is uh, okay that looks slightly better right click copy layer style paste layer style okay and the last step is this kind of gloss in fact, no, it's not. The last step is the middle. So uh, to do the middle, we're going to come to the very bottom layer, and well, we're going to come just under this uh, main ring, uh, just above the background to make a new layer. Come to the ellipse tool again, and we're going to make it whatever color you want, blue again. Drag it out. Oh, blimey! Drag it out about there line it up so it's underneath okay right click rasterize layer double click come to inner shadow pull the size up pull the choke up and as you can see we get this nice shadow around it, it gives it more of an orb like effect uh, then we need to hold, uh, come to the elliptical marquee tool uh, come above this blue circle you just made and make a kind of oval shape, sideways oval and once you've made it, drag it to the top middle then come to your gradient tool, make sure it's on white make sure it's on linear gradient, not reversed and then holding shift, pull it down then control D to deselect pull the opacity down and then Come to your blue circle again, hold control, click on the thumbnail to select all the pixels, make a new layer, come back to your elliptical marquee tool, and holding alt, drag it from uh, down here, bottom, well, wherever, and you want to drag it up like that, and I didn't really like that, bottom left, drag it from the bottom left, up, like that, that looks good. So you've got this kind of moon shape, come back to your gradient tool, and make sure you've made a new layer and then drag it uh, so it kind of cuts the moon in half symmetrically like that then control D to deselect and pull the opacity down and you can always uh, rotate this slightly like that there we go and that is pretty much how to make the orb and also if you want to make it look a bit cooler um, you can add a gradient map, I did a tutorial a few weeks ago on these just click here, uh, click on your top layer, click on this little circle, come to gradient map um, uh, and then put it to overlay 
or soft light and then you can choose one of these gradients I like this one that looks pretty cool and there we go we've got a pretty cool orb so um, I hope this tutorial was helpful it was quite long even though I moved fast uh, please comment rate and subscribe as always and I hope this was helpful I know a lot of you wanted to know how to do this and a lot of people are doing it at the moment in the graphics community but this is Cruise Designs thank you for watching this video and thank you for watching this tutorial and I'll see you in the next video thanks